Oh boy, I have a lot of hair. It's extra poofy today because it's clean. Hmm, how should I wear it today? Where did everyone go? Oh, there you guys are. Great Scott, Marty! Like, no one understands me. No. Ah, it's not poofing enough. Yeah, poofier. Hi, I'm Claudio Sanchez. This is fine, let's start the video. So today I kind of felt like sharing a story. Ugh, he's gonna talk at us again. Yep, I am gonna talk at you again, but this is my channel. So my favorite band, Metallica, is coming out with a new album soon. Woo! And a couple weeks ago they released the first single from that album. Now I've always loved everything that this band has put out and I knew that this album would be no different. So I pulled the new song up on YouTube and as I waited for the video to load I had this really strange flashback to the first time that I ever listened to this. This is Metallica's sixth album, Load, along with their seventh album, Reload. A lot of people tend to write these albums off as not as good or garbage. These people are wrong! But I digress. Let's go back to the far off ancient year of 2007. I had purchased this album as, at the time, it was the only Metallica album that I had yet to listen to. And I had heard all the rumors. Oh, they've completely sold out. Oh, they've totally changed their sound. They cut their hair, and that's bad because I guess fashion matters now in rock and roll. Hmm. But I didn't pay attention to any of that. I mean, I loved all their other albums. I didn't see any reason that I wouldn't love everything that this album had to offer as well. Wouldn't I? Honestly, this is one of the most vivid memories I have. I remember taking the CD out of the package and putting it in my CD player. You guys remember CD players, right? Hang on a second. Remember these things? Yeah. They ran on batteries. Remember batteries? What's funny is I actually had more than just these two. Why did I have so many of these things, you ask? Well, you see, this little laser reader thingy right here, it's got a little motor that makes it move back and forth. And if the motor gets used too much, then it burns out and just stops working. I managed to burn through about five of these. Thank God for MP3 players. Anyway, so back in 2007. So there I was, little 15-year-old Philip, waiting for the CD to load up. I had this weird, like, moment of doubt. No pun intended. What if those stories were true? What if I didn't like what was on that album? Does that mean they're not my favorite band anymore? Is my whole life a lie? But within literally the first two seconds of this album, every ounce of doubt that I had that this wasn't the greatest band in the world was completely blown away. And honestly, these are two of the greatest rock albums of the 90s. And if you think otherwise, shut up and listen to them. Just because it doesn't sound like Master of Puppets doesn't mean it's bad. If you want to listen to Master of Puppets, put on Master of Puppets. That's like going to a restaurant, ordering a steak dinner, and then when they bring you the steak dinner, you complain because it's not a plate of scrambled eggs. So, back to a few months ago. I was sitting at my computer desk waiting for this song to load, and I had that same moment of doubt. I mean, it's been eight years since Metallica put down any new material. What if I don't like it? What if it's not as good as I hoped it would be? Long story short, the song loaded up, I pressed play, and it took literally one second for all of my doubt to disappear. Anyways, I just kind of felt like sharing that story. I don't know if there's a lesson in it or anything, but I guess take it for what you will. Also, Metallica! I had purchased this album because at the time, it was the only Metallica album. <laughs> I mean, I loved all their other. I mean, I loved all their other albums. There's no reason that I wouldn't love everything that this album had to add. add, 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 add.